If they can make it to six frames, a place in the final, a chance to play for the German Masters title. Murphy, of course, a former runner-up here to Mark Selby. Graham Dock playing in his second semi-final in Berlin. Ready when you are. And although Murphy is the favourite, he will be very wary of the task he faces today. Dock, even when he falls a long way behind, Sean Murphy to break. never beaten until that sixth frame is won. Well, they say life begins at 40, Joe. And uh, Graham passed that milestone last year, but he can still play a mean game of snooker. He's playing so well, isn't he? Getting to the semi-finals of this event. He was 4-0 down yesterday to Jean Godon. And what a fighter he is. Another best break-off from Sean Murphy. One. Good <coughs> pot from Graham Dart, but unfortunately not on the colour. Yeah, what a great fighter he is. Never knows when he's beaten. And everybody that plays him knows he's been in a match. Graham Dot one. Great tactical player as well. You don't get to three world finals and win him one without being a tremendous tactical player. Head favours Murphy, 7-2. But they haven't played for four years, so it's going to be new, this. Yeah, that was an early chance. But I think he's left a red on to the right corner. Wasn't far away. <laughs> One. So first blood goes to Graham Dot. And enough loose reds to get his arm going. Applause her. Nice cannon on the red to hold for these two reds. Seven. Eight. You can see the determination on Graham's face there. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now, he could go into them here. Not too hard. Now, just a little bit more screw on the cue ball required to bring that cue ball out from the back. This is awkward yeah. now. I think the cue ball is going into the black. He just needed a little bit more screw on the cue ball. It would have come out of that pack of reds and been nicely on the red. Yeah.
spider and the swan neck are the two most difficult spiders to play with. I'd rather play with the rest on top of the ordinary spider. Well, he didn't know how he's going to be kissing the black. So Rain that chance now falls to Sean Murphy. Never easy, that. One. Well, decided to play for the black. Could have gone up for the blue. But this isn't a gimme where he's left himself. Just a little bit too far away for comfort. So, early nerves. One. Yeah, Murphy struggled to get going both against Alan McManus in the early running and against Mark Joyce. Took him a while to find his stride. One. So, just what Graham Dot needed to be let off. I'm back at the table with a good scoring chance. mind if the pink spot was held. <coughs> Looks Seven. like it still goes to this left corner, so maybe changing his mind and playing the other red. Eight. <laughs> well, that's certainly opened things up, and that's just what he played. Standing off the reds to the cushion, back Fourteen. off again for this red to the left corner. Could play up for the black this time. And chose to play 15. for choice of black or blue. The red in the ball corner. Easy enough to get on to. Twenty. Oh, well, that's the worst place he could have landed. He may have to take the more difficult blue. There was a lot of room for error there. Left-hand side on the cue ball to try and play on to the black, but just landing in front of the green. And I think the blue is easier than the black. Very close to that green there. Dot twenty one. Well, it was a tough shot. Hasn't left anything easy for Murphy. It wasn't easy. So, third chance for Graham Dot. Oh, 
It's a long way off that one. And as Philip said, it took him a while to settle yesterday. One. He was in the black to pot the red. Would have preferred not to have hit the black. But it shouldn't be a problem now for Graham. Red colour red Five. would be enough. Six. <coughs> nice stun run through to finish perfectly onto this red. And Eleven. Just needs the red. So it looks like the first rain is going to Graham Dot. Needed two or three chances. But he won't be bothered about that. He's got his name on the board. Yes, and as impressive as he's been from behind in this tournament, 3-0 down to Hawkins, 4-0 down with five to play against Xiao Gadong, the man who knocked out Mark Selby. He would much prefer to get in front. Trying to apply some pressure to Murphy. Of course, there's more wiggle room now. Best of 11, as opposed 25. to best of nine. 26. He's always been a tremendous match player, Graham Dot. Three times a world finalist, as Joe mentioned, winning the title in 06 and that epic battle with Peter Ebden. Produced one of the all-time great pressure clearances when Ebden was coming back at him, which made the 32. difference at the Crucible. He's a big occasion player. He hasn't won as much as perhaps he might have done. Just the two ranking titles, the China Open alongside that World Championship. But as he said, ahead of this match, he's rejuvenated. He's hungry again. His results have been better this season. 39. And he's eyeing a first German Masters final. 4-2-1. Forty-four. Uh, what about that for a shot? Showing that he can play exhibition shots when he needs to. Forty-eight. Good start, this from Graham Dot. Murphy had a couple of chances. Didn't take Fifty them. Three. A lot of pressure on Murphy today. He's expected to win. 59. 66. An encouraging start from the underdog. A nice clearance of 66. Those errors with the spider did not prove to be costly. Sean Murphy has yet to settle. Graham Dock off to a flyer. He takes the opening frame, but there's a long way to go. He leads 1-0 here at the Temple Drone, one of the highlights on the snooker calendar. Five tables have become one. Thank you, it's the second frame. There's four players remaining. Grand Graham Dot Brett. with a break of 66 in the opening frame against Sean Murphy, the winner, to play Trump or Williams, who are in action this evening. Well, Murphy didn't make a good break off when he broke off. And Graham Dot has brought a red down the table I think he may have covered it, but he's left another one on to the left corner. A lot of pressure on this, though, because it's not a gimme. And he'll almost certainly be leaving reds on if he misses it. If he plays for the blue, he leaves the red by the middle. If he plays for the black, Leaves reds on by the black. One hasn't missed it though. 
didn't pot it cleanly and that's why the cue ball has finished up there and this is horrible he's a big occasion player Sean Murphy and he's got lots of bottle that was a tough shot knew he was going to be on the red to the middle pocket for my money Murphy's one of the best players playing off the cushions and that's because of that rock solid cue action of his one of the best by common consent in the game so reliable when he's playing well Barry Hawkins another player who is Nine. outstanding in playing when there's very little of the cue ball to aim at but Murphy's up there coming around the two cushions for choice of three reds just a, a little Bottom. hard would have liked to have been straighter on this red may have to play the cannon now some kind of distraction in the crowd and rightfully getting up off the shot recomposing himself 15 Yeah, super confident Murphy would go into the pack of reds there with the two loose reds available. Well, didn't work out. He played the cannon to the reds, but played it thicker. 22. Sean Murphy, 22. Hasn't got the speed of the table yet, Sean Murphy. Yes, and that was considered a potential disadvantage for Graham Dot today, having not played on the main match table. Murphy, of course, has. <clears throat> and Dot mentioned that the last time he made the last four here, he struggled to adjust to the pace. That was something he was mindful he would have to improve on to win today. Seem to spring off the black cushion there. And that's why the cue balls come out, out of balk. Well, a chance here for Murphy, red to the left corner. I think he could avoid the black. Oh, well, I'm surprised he's not taking it on. Now, can he see this red over the pocket? There's applause. Don't know if he can see that red. Obviously he can't. Otherwise he would have been taking it now. Oh, he played to hit it thin and caught it from behind. So another chance for Murphy. Ball's nicely spread. One. Well, awkward.
awkward cueing, so he may have to play for that red on the cushion. And he could have done without playing for that. Bleiben Sie gerade oben. Bleiben Sie mal da oben und gehen Sie bitte wieder raus. Ja, Sie, die gerade die Treppe runtergehen. Oder setzen Sie sich ganz schnell hin. So. It's ironic, isn't it, that throughout the week, the players frames have had to contend with all sorts of distractions with as many as five tables in use simultaneously, but now we're down to one. It's arguable that the players are even more conscious of any distraction in the crowd than they were when it was an open plan extravaganza. Yes, it was somebody just walking down the stairs there that you can see. And it was right in his line of fire. Nine. Well, he could play a little cannon into those three reds closest together. But it's risky to play that shot. If he drops it in dead weight, I'll well, play it into them, and he's on one. Sixteen. Seventeen. Sean doesn't want this to be a safety match. Twenty-four. Because I think he would be second second favourite. Grand Twenty-five. Up, very clever player. Much prefer this to be a potted match. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Sixty points, the difference now. Just a couple of reds needed. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty-four. It was a safety error from Dot that let Murphy in for this opportunity to get his 45. arm going after a couple of errors in the opening frame. Here it is, looking to clip it thin, but missing it on the way down. And that's proved to be very expensive. Applause for frame ball. Very knowledgeable, this crowd. Fifty-three. Murphy's made a couple of centuries this week. In fact, he owned the top break of 138 before Judd Trump eclipsed it last night against Ding with 140. There's a £1,500 bonus for the best break, unless... We see a maximum, in which case it'll be a total of six and a half thousand. Fifty-nine. Deliberately held the spot for the blue. Sixty-four. Yeah, what a great rest player. Deliberately left 65. himself with the rest. Could have played the run through and not used it. 60. Oh, could have left an angle there to bring the pink into play. 70. 71. Left the angle this time to bring the pink into play, if he wants to. 78. 79. 
He's going to need that pink 84. for a century. Eighty-six. Eighty-nine. Ninety-three. And a nice angle on the blue. No, he wanted to catch it from behind. Now what? Well, century number 29 of the current season will have to wait for Sean Murphy, but he'll make do with 98. That's a good response to losing the opening frame. Graham Dock making a safety mistake, and Murphy was clinical in levelling the match at one apiece. Part of the match, having both won a frame. Dock with the opener, break of 66. Murphy responding with 98 to level things up. The first to six to go frame. through to tomorrow's final, which is played over the best of 17 frames, Sean first Murphy to nine. Mark Williams and Judd Trump doing battle this evening here on Eurosport. The tenth meeting, Murphy having won seven of the previous nine. They have played at the German Masters before, and that went the distance. Murphy winning 5-4 in the second round. considering playing the plant there but the distance between the balls a little bit too much and he's under hit the safety but he's got away with it Graham can't see that long straight red And this time it's Graham and leaves it a little bit short. Cue ball just reaching the ball like. Well, you can count that a let off. And Murphy a little fortunate not to have left the red on to the right corner. Backs himself to get most of those, Murphy. Well, especially after knocking in that 98 break in the last frame. Fancied him strongly for it. It's close. He was more interested in getting that cue ball dead on the cushion. Didn't want the red in. <laughs> That's an excellent safety shot. Graham Dot acknowledging it by saying shot and tapping the table. Got to catch this thin, otherwise he could make contact. Kiss off the brown, leaving the cue ball close to the cushion. May still take this red on. Caught it. 
it a little thin, but it's okay. There is a red that will go to the port corner, but it's tough. And he'd be leaving a red on if he missed it. If he could leave the cue ball on the cushion just above the middle pocket, he wouldn't leave anything easy. That couldn't be tempted. Uh, that's another good safety shot from Sean Murphy. I think it's an area of his game that he's still improving. Murphy has always been a very heavy scorer. 446 centuries in a 20-year career is testament to that. He'd be the first to admit that his tactical game is not as good, but it's getting better. Yeah, it's been pretty good this week, got to say. Caught that one thick, so he's won the safety battle. but a little fortunate to have left the cue ball in front of the green. Murphy would have had that long red to the left corner. Is that what you call a beauty shot? of left hand side on the cue ball but just caught it a little thick now is there any angle on this red to the left corner to get back down the table no it's pretty straight which makes it a very difficult pot and a very risky one pink will go to the middle That's a great pot. That's a great pot. And maybe the pink a little bit too risky from there. Green ball. Happy to make this into a safety match. Green dot one. There's Murphy, wants to turn it into a potting match. But sometimes if the safety is this good, only one thing you can do is play safe back. Well, <laughs> he saw a plant. Now, can he get through to the green? Two. He's unfortunate. Here's the plant again. Yeah, just when I was saying that Bramble. he wants to play an attacking game, Goes for that outrageous plant and got it. Sean Murphy, two.
Ah, oh, what a shot from Graham Dot. And look where he played the cue ball to, just in case he missed it. Knew he was going to be on the green. But what an attacking shot that was. Black tied up for the moment. That red is closest to stopping the black going in that left corner. <laughs> Tried to bring the pink into play. And that double kiss could have been kinder. Four. Good recovery. Five. Well, ideally, if he could play for that red nearest the left corner pocket, that would free the way for the red by the black. That's the one he's played for. And that's OK. Play it for the blue again. Ten. Unless the black goes, and then he could play for the black. Yep, the black goes, so great chance this now for Graham Dot. Started off with that great red to the right corner. Yeah. I think Dot probably felt that he didn't get the credit he deserved for winning the world title back in 2006. And it's something of a myth that he's a slow player. He isn't. It's just that he tends to get involved in nice. some epic battles. Sometimes the frames can go scrappy. He's not the biggest scorer on the circuit, but my goodness, he's got a good temperament. And so much determination. Oh. He had the... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow. That's an outrageous fluke. It certainly is. It's got to hurt. To Sean Murphy. It's a bad miss, wasn't it? 26. Well, the balls were at Sean Murphy's. Well, you could only... What a fluke this was. I mean... This is, as you say, it's got to hurt that. Well, it will hurt if Dot can now fully capitalise on it and win this frame at this visit. Well, you've got to take the look when it comes because it can turn against you so quickly. <laughs> yes, and they say better to have the luck at the end of the match than near the beginning, but goodness me, that was a fluke and a half. <laughs> Holds his hand up, but... With every intention of going on to clear the table. Well, he potted the black badly in his last visit, which left him with the rest. But now back in prime position. Forty-one. 
48. Forty-nine. No need to play the cannon to those two reds. Happy enough to leave them there. Just another red 56. then. And Murphy's misery will be compounded. What a fluke. One left, so already a couple of snookers needed. Yeah, he's pretty good at putting adversity out of his mind, Sean Murphy. But he knows that he would have had a great chance of winning that frame had Graham not fluked that black. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. <laughs> nice little rub on the brown. Doesn't matter now. Seventy. I would like to make a century. Seventy-one. Not exactly where he played it. 78. Foul. A break of 78 then from Graham Dodd, but that doesn't really tell the story. He missed a straight black to right centre, fluked it spectacularly into the yellow pocket. That's what's cost Sean Murphy. Dot moves 2-1 in front here at the Temple Drone. And here at the German Masters with Graham That's Dott right. missing an easy black, but seeing it drop into the, the yellow frame. pocket. Much Grand to the chagrin the of Sean Murphy. Dot goes on to make a break of 78 and moves 2-1 in front. First to six. This is the final frame before the interval. And it'll be interesting to see now how Murphy responds to that. It's a bit of a kick in the teeth, Joe. Yes, it is. But, you know, I'm sure Sean Murphy is professional enough to know that these things happen. wasn't his fault. Just a little bit of luck that went Graham's way, but, you know, he should have potted it in the middle, which would have been the same result. Let's not forget that Graham Dot got in with a great pot to that right corner pocket, finished on the green. Very attacking shot he played. Well, this is the black that Dot missed. He missed it by quite a way, but... Goodness me, what a result he had. Wouldn't have counted for anything, though, if he hadn't gone on to mop up the remainder. Have to make the most of your luck when it comes along. Absolutely. Well, that was a tough shot, Sean Murphy. And if this red bounces... It's a chance for Graham Dot. Very, very tough pot. And sometimes you get away with it. Sometimes you don't. Gentleman had a heavy cold. Well, the blue not on its spot. One. Would have been perfect had the blue been on its spot. And sometimes you can just forget about that. You just play the shot as you would normally with the blue being there.
Graham Dot chasing just his third ranking title and his first for 11 years. Yeah, good pot. And nicely round for these two reds into the left corner. That wasn't easy. Six. And the crowd appreciating that shot. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Well, we've been here before. He could go into the pack of reds, but if he plays it with screw on the cue ball... I uh, don't think he's playing it. Just playing for the loose one. This is the blue coming round the two cushions for these two reds into the left corner. It was a very good shot. Knew he was leaving reds on. Had he missed that difficult blue? 23. Well, that's opened things up, but this black by no means a gimme. All he needs to do is drop it in, though, bounce off the cushion. Put the red to the right of the pink. And decided to play for the red to the middle. Nothing wrong with that. 30. As much side on the cue ball as that, but he's okay. He's still on a red to the right middle. He wanted to come past that red. Just got a little bit too much right hand side on the cue ball. Oh, that was a kick. And the red straightened up. 36. That could be important. And that's how the Wheel of Fortune can turn. Lucky fluke, which helped win him the previous frame, and now an unlucky kick, which has cost him the pot. Has it cost him the frame, though? You would have fancied him to have won the frame at that visit. One. Yeah, great pot. And now, every chance, the balls are nicely spread. They all go, nothing safe. Oh, got a lot of right hand side on the cue ball. Wanted to be straighter on this red to Five. the left corner so it could get to the black. Six. And just over hit that one slightly. You might just play into the pack of reds here to hold the cue ball. He doesn't need to, because he can play with that loose red. Oh, the black doesn't go into the left corner. 11. Well, it was an unfortunate kick from Graham Dot. Here it is again. The red just straightened up. Got to put it out of his mind. He's playing well. Twelve. And it's so difficult to do. It is, but I guess, given the circumstances in which he won the previous frame, 
could be a bit more philosophical about it. 17. Well, the black doesn't go. 18. Because of that red. And I thought he would have played on that red last time round. Would have made things a lot easier. Not straightforward this by any means, but he could play onto that red nearest the left corner pocket, nearest, nearest the black cushion. Well, that's worked out very nicely. 21. Freed the pink, and he's on these two reds. That was a good shot if that's what he played. 22. And a great chance to share the spoils at the interval. 22. Yeah, and I think he'd be delighted with that. Sean Murphy could very easily have been 3 1 down there. 29. With the aid of that fluke. 30. He's still got work to do. Well, that's outstanding from Dot. Anything over 90 is good. Mid-90s, excellent. Well, I, I hope he wasn't punished for that kick. 38. In those stats. Well, he would have been. But then he wasn't punished for missing the black because it dropped into the other pocket. So, <laughs> six of one, half a dozen of the other. And the initial bit of good fortune and then misfortune 45. for Graham Dot have characterised this first little mini session. 46. Assuming Murphy can go on to do the business here. Produced arguably as that one just rattles in the clearance of the week against Mark Joyce at a crucial time when Joyce was looking fifty set to level at two all at the interval. Murphy mopped up brilliantly for three one and that won in the match effectively. 54. Broke Joyce's spirit. Well, you know what he's gonna be talking about in the interval. Five points, 61. the difference. 62. Wasn't clean. Just the black needed. 69. 71. A very unfortunate kick. A Graham Dot. That's what he thought about it. 74. It's been a very watchable little session, hasn't it? Another big break. We've had one in each frame. Four frames in less than an hour. It's good stuff. Here it is again. Had this gone in, had he not got the kick, might well have been 3 1 as it is. Sean Murphy, three. once again clinical when given the chance, just as he was in levelling the match with a break of 98. 89. Nicely done. A tale of the fickle finger of snooker fate in those first four frames. Graham Dot with an outrageous flute, which won in the third, and then an unfortunate kick, which effectively lost in the fourth. Both players are queuing well. It's set up beautifully after the 15-minute break. It's on as even here at the Temple Drome. Sean Murphy 2, Graham Dot 2.
but Thank I think friend, um, he was a bit unlucky there to get the kick, John Doc. We know he got the, yeah. the bit of luck before, but I think he's missed his opportunity, so I fancy Murphy will go away with it now. And Philip and Joe to the end. Well, both players are certainly queuing well when they're in amongst them. And I think they'll both be reasonably satisfied with two each. Could have been better for Dot had he not got that kick. Could have been worse had he not got the fluke in the previous frame. Yeah, but it's a new session. Could do with a kiss. And that will do One. nicely. Good pot, good kiss. Four out of four from long range for the Glaswegian. Yes, and I think the break came at a good time for Graham because having lost that frame through no fault of his own, he had time to just regroup. Played for choice of two reds. And he's nicely on this one to the left corner, which leads to the black. Four. Eleven. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Awkward oh, queue in. Twenty-eight. Unfortunately, just had to drop it in. Good shot in off the angle. Tom. Always looks <laughs> so he's got lots of anxiety. 36. Another good recovery shot, though. He's a terrier, isn't he? He just keeps snapping at your heels. Terrific competitor. I just over hit that one slightly. 43.
Yeah, another good recovery shot. <laughs> He's got to be Off feeling before. good. And now a nice angle to go into that cluster. And if he could miss the pink or catch it thin on the left-hand side, it should open nicely. Chose to go into them full. <laughs> and he's on one to the middle. 49. Well, this time he's got to play into the reds. Try and find the gap between those two reds. And they've split. Absolutely beautiful. 57. Just about got the right side of the blue. Well, now he's straight. <coughs> so the next red is going to be more difficult than it could have been had it been the right side of the blue. This is missable. And there's enough li reds left for Murphy if he misses 63. it. Pressure on this one. Just gene himself up. <laughs> Used all of the pocket. 64. He's not bothered about that. It's gone down. Blue Just will be enough to leave Sean Murphy needing a snooker. Yeah, but he wants another red. And it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Just made sure of the blue. Sixty-nine. So Green Murphy dot. not out of this 69. game yet. 69 points behind. Just one snooker though. Red is on to the middle, but again, there's pressure on this. Cue ball's going into those reds. And that one should make sure of this fifth frame. Match time is just an hour for five frames. This is the best of Graham Dot. He's scoring well. He's competing as he always Eight. does, giving it absolutely everything he's got. And he's Nine. giving Sean Murphy plenty to think about. His long game is outstanding. And that's always a barometer, I think, of a player's confidence when they're knocking them in from long range. Makes a huge difference. 16. Six out of six. Outstanding. Murphy normally very good in that department, not so good today. And Graham Dot keeps on coming. That's another outstanding frame from him. The initial break of 69 doing most of the damage. He's back in front again in this semi-final here at the Temple Drome. He leads 3-2. In excess of 60, three of them from the queue of Graham Dot, who is queuing superbly right now. And looking very confident. He's raking in the long balls as well. And he's leading the pre-match favourite, okay, Sean you. Murphy, by three frames to two. He's halfway to his first German Masters thank you, final. Thank six.
Grenda to break. To give himself the chance of a first ranking title in more than a decade. Yeah, some, <clears throat> yes, I'm playing well enough to do it. <laughs> playing like the champion he is and has been. Great to see it playing so well. This long red is on to the left corner, but looks like the cue ball could be going into the black and red. So just playing the containing safety shot. Just a little bit too thin. But nothing easy left there. Is it going to finish? Not good for Graham Dot. He stayed positive there. Graham taking that long red on, but missed it by a distance. And this is a good chance for Sean Murphy. The black's available, pink's available, red's nicely spread. This is the red he missed, making contact with the other red. Sometimes you get away with it, other times you don't. Four. Well, he could go into them here, but it's risky. This red side he could play for. This red on the right side cushion leads him to the black. Nine. And if he could finish low on the on the black, then he he'd be able to play the cannon to the red, remove it. From from the black spot. Well, maybe he's coming a little straight on it. Can still get to a red. Seven. But he'd like to have cleared that area by playing the cannon. He still can. And now really is a good chance. Black available to both pockets. 17.
little bit of noise there. Well, this time he could go into them, screw out of the pack. Should be on that red to the right of the black. Doesn't need to. Well, that's not as good as it could have been. Tried to catch the red fuller. This is awkward now. First appearance for the swan neck. And a good pot. Not ideal on the black. 26. 100% rest pot success. That must be counted as, as the rest. And both players now in the mid 90s as regards their overall pot success. This match has been played at an excellent standard. Used all of the pocket again, but developed more reds. 33. <coughs> Just got into the cue ball a little bit too much. Got too close to that corner pocket. Forty one. So not ideal on this red to the middle. Crowd like that one. Held well for the blue. Forty seven. Forty eight. By his own admission, it was a bit of a struggle last night against Ryan Day. Sean Murphy finding a way to come through in a final frame and as he said himself ahead of this match he's not known for being a player who wins terribly often when he's off song so that in itself will have pleased him to have come through a tough scrappy one but he's seen more than enough from Graham Dot today to know that he's got to play well to win this afternoon and he's being inspired by the standard that that man is producing <coughs> Three times Dodd has been in front. 54. Murphy looking to level once more. And these two loose reds 55. would be enough to leave Dot needing snookers. Now, does this red go to the right corner? If not, then he's got the angle to go into them. Well, fortunately... He missed the pack of reds. Sean Murphy, 55. And he's got the snooker as well. <laughs> and the reason he missed the black, had to play it with a touch of left-hand side on the cue ball. Well, not difficult to hit and should be able to just land up into the back of them. Nicely done, unless the red goes to the middle, and judging by his face, the red may go. But because he missed the black last time round, he now needs another red. Now, 
that's amazing that he's missed that red. Left a nice angle on the black to disturb the reds. What a big One. frame this could be now. He's got a good angle on the green. Oh, the brown. Oh, well, it was a big target. In fact, the shot previously, he could have potted the red in the middle. Five. Screwed across the table for the black, which would have been a natural angle to go into the reds. Green dot five. Well, not the best safety. Easy enough to get this cue ball down the table, maybe behind the yellow. Just didn't get close enough to the middle pocket. Oh, not enough side on the cue ball. So 50 points, the difference, 67 remaining, but Murphy plays a very good safety shot and Dot in big trouble. Yes, it was that last safety shot where he ran into the pack of reds there. Should have played into them lower. Couldn't have played that shot then. Got to hit one and get it safe. Foul and a miss. Sean Murphy, five. Well, a very good effort to avoid all of the reds there. He could play that another thousand times yeah. and he wouldn't miss them. Extraordinary. Yeah, what's more extraordinary is that he hasn't left one. And back it goes, so I'll get another go. your luck he's delighted I think <laughs> well Murphy thinking about taking the red on but surely playing behind the yellow push the red to the cushion Takes a long red on and misses it. They're all there for the taking. with leaving that red close to the black cushion. If you can play the safety shot and avoid that red. chance and right in the middle great pop from Graham Dot he's gonna be on the yellow he can One. afford to take the yellow
What a monumentally big frame this would be for Graham Dot to win. Yep, all the pressure in the world on him now. Coming down the right side of the table, which offered him more chance of a red, but he's overplayed it. Free. Could have come down the left side, the red to the right of the black spot, but played it with right hand side on the cue ball. And now he needs another good one. And that's another good one. Four. Fifty one the difference, so he needs this colour. <laughs> Nicely played and check the cue ball to keep it away from the cushion. Nine. Another very good shot from Graham Dot. Ten. Anything but straight on this red is good. 17. Well, that could have been better. Straight would have been good, but he's just off straight. Not enough to play it with topspin. And looks like he's going to struggle to play it with backspin. thinking of stunning it <clears throat> coming off two cushions but very difficult it's nearly straight and if he plays the screw back it's going close to the jaws of the right corner well Graham dot 17. I don't know what he played there maybe just pop the red and take the black to the middle But it was unfortunate where he landed, but a gift for Sean Murphy. And a big sigh of relief. Murphy would have been a little concerned having missed the black. He was on that initial break of 55 and then looking a certainty when he had Dot Snooker with the reds open. Dot had the chance to steal there. Seven. And it would have been a huge steal at this stage of the match. It's going to be three Eight. apiece. Three times Murphy's been behind. Three times he's been able to level up. Fourteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Twenty-three. Well, this capacity Temple Drone crowd is certainly getting the value for money. Sean Murphy with a break of 55. Graham Dot had the chance to steal for 4-2. It wasn't to me. Murphy, the magician, will be relieved to be level for the third time this afternoon. It's three frames apiece. They both need three for the final. 
semi-final. Sean Murphy, three. Graham Dot, three. These players with six world final appearances between them and a title each at the Crucible. And, of course, tonight, the second semi. Our coverage underway with Colin and the team at 6.45. They tee off just after seven. Mark Williams is having a great season against Judd Trump. So who's your money on now, Joe Johnson? Well, it, it's on either of them, really, because they're both playing well. Graham will be kicking himself for that last red. He had such an easy black that he could have got a little bit closer to it and left himself an angle to come out for the black, and the game would have been his. He'd have had a two-frame lead. Now, he'll be thinking about that. This is the red. He tried to make sure of it, but he was going to still be faced with a difficult black to the middle, and he needed the black. Thank you, seventh frame. Sean Murphy to break. Murphy has never been in front. Is this the moment? Three apiece. It's now a best of five for a place in the final. And at this stage, it all comes down to feeling and confidence. And Murphy will be feeling a lot more confident winning that last frame. Graham Dot will be just maybe thinking he should have been two up. So his mindset might not be as good as Murphy's. Choice of both reds here. Playing this one with least risk. Could only leave the red he was playing on. Now, what's the damage? There is one to the left middle. There's also one to the right middle. It's only the second that Dot has missed from long range today in nine attempts. Well, Murphy giving this all consideration, full consideration, because he knows if he can pot this, he's got a great chance. One. Seven. The red just below the pink is available. Nine. And the red that he's played for here releases two more reds to the same pocket. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Thirty. A measure of just how tight this match has been so far. 
Punch and counter punch. Graham Dodd has been able to match Murphy in the scoring stakes. But he might still be dwelling on that opportunity missed to open up a two-frame lead. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Chance to develop these two reds now. And that other red still available. We keep going back to this and... 45. Well, can Graham put that out of his mind? The surprise of that miss was 46. that he wasn't attempting to do anything with the cue ball. Had he been looking to screw back and use side, then perhaps it would have been more understandable. But he was just leaving the cue ball exactly where it was. <coughs> Thought about it for a long time, and perhaps that indecision was the reason he missed. 54. So, another red and a black should be enough. 61. Sixty-two. Just looking at the possibility of a plant. One thing he doesn't want to do is miss the black and hit the reds. <laughs> One snooker needed, Graham Dot. Sixty-nine. Could play the double, screw the cue ball back behind the black. This Very is... tough shot, wasn't it? Yeah, and he was unfortunate because the red split into the reds. Sean Murphy, 69. So one snooker required. This match is rattling along, barely 14 minutes of frame, just under. Uh, put all his eggs in one basket there, Graham. Had it gone in, had a good chance to have got all the reds with blacks and the red behind the pink would have been ideal for a snooker. One. But that seals this frame. And Murphy is going to take the lead for the first time. Runner up here to Mark Selby. Three years ago, Sean Four. Murphy. His most recent of the seven ranking titles he's landed came in Gibraltar. Five. The start of last season. That got him into the Champion of Champions, of course, which he went on to win, beating O'Sullivan for one of the biggest victories of his career. Ten. Eleven. And he's now overtaken Graham Dot as regards pot success. 94%. Plays 92. Eighteen. Twenty-six. Foul. Graham Dot for Sean Murphy, 26 Graham and Dot frame. concedes, and Sean Murphy enjoys the lead for the first time in our first semi-final here at the German Masters, and a good time to take it as well as we head towards the business end.
of this last four encounter. It's Murphy by four frames to three. Really entertaining spectacle, the first semi-final here at the German Masters, and it's Sean Murphy for the first time who edges in front. Graham Dots played some really good stuff. Murphy has two. We've had a sizable break in every frame. And the longest of the match so far, just a shade under 20 minutes. Most of them have been a lot shorter than that. The average, well, a shade over 13 minutes. Perhaps rather swifter than some might have predicted at the outset, but both players have been queuing well all week. And it's Murphy now who is within two frames of a second German Masters final. Marcel Eckhardt, our referee, officiating in his home tournament. Dot having popped out for a comfort break to regroup. Perhaps still thinking about that chance that he had to steal what would have been a huge frame, the sixth, and move 4-2 in front, but he missed the red. And now he's playing catch-up for the first Thank time. Thank you, the eighth frame. Graham Dot to break. But this match is still very much up for grabs. Yes, it's amazing how quickly fortunes can change. One minute, he's got that red along the cushion to take a 2-0 lead. The next minute, he's one frame behind. Of course, being behind won't remotely phase Dot because he was four down with five to play against Xiao Gudong in the previous round. Well, there's another plant from Murphy. Yes, he looked at it, and he got a big bounce there off that court cushion, which has left him on One. the green. Not an easy green. By any means. Four. Five. Sean Murphy missed a couple of pots in the opening frame of this semi-final. Since then, he's missed a total of five in the six frames. And some of those have been academic with the frame one, so he's making very few mistakes right now, the magician. Ten. 94 is excellent. 92 is not shabby. 11. Left a nice angle to play for that red directly above the black. Which frees the other red. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Just feels as though the momentum is beginning to shift now in the semi-final. Oh, he's looking very strong. Didn't play that one well, though. This is the red we keep going back to. Graham Dot. Cost him two frames, that red. 35. Yes, a two-frame swing, and also the baggage that it leaves, because he's bound to still be thinking about it. But he's proved already this week on a couple of occasions that 
He has a rock solid temperament, Dot. Coming back 42. from near hopeless positions against both Hawkins and Zhao. Yeah, by his own admission, though, it was Zhao who couldn't get over the line and gave him chances. Will Sean Murphy, well, with that misread, Sean he's Murphy, got 42. one. Surprising. No obvious reason why he should have missed that. One. Now, if the pink doesn't spot and it goes behind the reds, that leaves him a chance at this red into the left corner. And if you could leave it in such a way as to open the reds up. Just a moment here, please. Thanks. Seven. Eight. Played it well. The Reds haven't developed as well as he would have hoped. And he could go into them again here. Or he could decide to play for that red close to the right cushion. Into them again. And he's on one. Not ideally, but he's on one. 13. Fourteen. Great chance this is for Graham Dot. Nothing safe. It would 21. certainly be the perfect tonic, wouldn't it? To having missed that opportunity for a two frame cushion a couple of frames back. Murphy was looking good to move two up with three to play before he missed that red. 26. To right centre. Big surprise, this. Yes, and he knows that he got good position on the pink to play the same shot that Graham Dot did. 27. Open the reds up. Thirty-three. Top. Thirty-four. Oh, he didn't want the kiss. He wanted to slip past the red. A poor positional shot from Graham Dot. 41. And it could be costly. No side on the cue ball. Needs a good shot now to recover the situation. 42. And that's a good shot. 42. Tap on the table there from Sean Murphy. Tap on the table. He hasn't got arms that long. <laughs> But he did acknowledge it, as you say. Terrific shot. And what a big frame this is again now. They're all big, of course, and they get bigger with every passing frame as you head towards 
the Bottom finale, line. but this would be a huge one for Dr. Steele. Fifty. Yeah, what a good shot this was. He, he was screwing it back a little so he didn't leave the other red on. And now you see Sean Murphy just tapping his leg in appreciation. <laughs> it was a good shot, that. Full credit to Graham Dot. He could have been in bits for missing that red and then losing the last frame. It's one of his great strengths. He's a stubborn 57. character. Always has been. No little skill either. 58. But it's his attitude as much as anything which made him a world champion. And he's got his zest back for the game. He told us before the start of this match that he thought about quitting because his form was nowhere last season. And perhaps his ability to qualify for the Crucible after a poor run of results and then beating Ali Carter in the first round there just 60. gave him that little bit of belief that he could get back to where he was. 62. Results have been more consistent this season. And, of course, this has been by far his best run, and he wants it to go further. Just the green needed. And the crowd knew it as well. What a match this is turning out to be. And Murphy's turn to ponder what might have been with that misread when he was 40-odd in front. 69. Was looking good to give him some breathing space, put him within one of the final. 70. As it is, this match is back on a knife edge. Yes, another quick fire frame, by the way. So much for Graham Dot being sluggish, not a bit of it. Less than 11 minutes, superb break of 74. The pincher frame, he looked like losing. And we are level pegging yet again here at the Temple Drone. Four apiece. Not disappointing. The standard has been excellent. Both players have contributed to a really entertaining match, which has flown by eight frames in less than an hour and three quarters. And Graham Dot's turn to show his mettle. What an excellent break of 74 that was from 42 behind. Murphy missing an easy one when he looked like taking a firm grip on this match. But now... It's right back in the balance again, four apiece. They both need two for the right to play the Judd Trump or Mark Williams who do battle this evening here on Eurosport from 6.45. Play getting underway just after seven. That's UK time. Yeah, he caught that one too thin. And that's why the cue ballers come in and out of balk. So an early chance, half chance, for Sean Murphy. Yeah, good pot. One. Has the angle to come down for that red nearest the left corner. Should lead him to the black. Also frees the pocket to that left corner. Five. Murphy hasn't been as good as he normally is from long distance today, but it's been pretty handy from short range. That easy misread aside, he's not Six. made too many mistakes. But then neither is his opponent. No, it's been a great match, hasn't it? And that's worked out nicely on this red. Developed another one. 13. <laughs> A little too straight on the black. 14. May have wanted to go into the cluster there, but he can play for the red. 
behind the black or the one out in the open. Now, you lucky people are going to get the thoughts of 21. Ronnie O'Sullivan in a moment or two. Twenty-two. Welcome, Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's been a great match, this, isn't it, Ronnie? I mean, the pace at which it's been played may be a surprise to some. Yeah, um, twenty-nine. I think that like, Sean always sort of plays. You know, when he plays like this, it's always open scoring and that, but. You know, for Graham to do it as well. Um, you know, when you get two players both scoring well and, and that, it's, it's nothing better than to be involved in a match like that as well because you're just like, shot for shot, blow for blow. And it's just fantastic as a player to be involved in a game like this, you know. And presumably you draw inspiration if your opponent does start to hit the ball really well. That can inspire you to greater heights as well. And so it's kind of a knock-on effect. Yeah, very, very, very rare it happens, though, when you both, like, hit fire you know but if you do you know it's always nice because you think well they've hit you with one and then you just bang bang you know and it's um it's a great feeling um so yeah i mean it's very rare that you get both players where they're Ready. both feeling like that so when it does happen um it's great for the crowd and great for you as a, as a player because you know um everyone likes to play the game when it comes very easy you know Aus dieser Richtung sind die Ohrhörer sehr, sehr laut. Können Sie ein bisschen drunter drehen? Danke. I think that may be one or two earpieces that are bleeding into the auditorium. Uh, if you're trying to keep 100% concentration here, we're getting to the money end of this match where it really matters. And it's hard to, to pick, a, pick a winner as well, you know, like at this stage of the game. They're both very, very good. Uh, pressure players you know if if you're going to have a deciding frame you'd pick either of these two to to win it in one visit you know both different styles in some ways but both got great bottle you know yeah graham dot's already gone to the well three times in the german masters to qualify for the temple drone he 39. had to get past peter ebden 5-4 and of course came back from 4-0 down to beat Zhao gadong 3-0 down to beat hawkins 5-3 and meiji wen took him the distance too so he's no mm stranger to a final frame decider yeah no um i didn't, didn't realize he played so many deciding frames in the tournament he's uh he's earned his right to be here nice part middle of the hole 40. i mean i never like to say you know willie fawn's always saying it's frame winning visit you know after they piped one red and the balls are open but you could possibly say that here you know where he's 40 in front and the reds are nice you, sh you should be saying it should be game over but you never know there could be a kick that could um derail him but the way, like you say the way they've both been playing you would expect this to be 5-4 now murphy's had much the 45. better of the previous head-to-head -head with seven wins out of nine but their only previous meeting here went the distance. That was back in 2013. Murphy winning 5-4. That was in the second round, though. This is for a place in the final. 45. Sean's using this new chalk as well. It doesn't give you any kicks. So I don't know. You used to Let's like a little scream up about the kicks, didn't you, Sean? To he must be feeling good about his game, you know? Chalk. Yeah, no kicks, but apparently more likely to get a miscue. I mean, I know you've used you've used it and then fl flipped back again. What, what, what's your take on it? 52. Well, my, my take on it is, is that it's, um, you don't get any kicks and you don't get no bounces off the cushions. Um, but I think you lose a bit of power in certain shots. So, I mean, if the cushions are bouncing, then I'd use it. Um, but if not, I'd just stick to the triangle stuff. But um, I've never really bothered about kicks. I, I, I kind of know when they're going to come and you have to kind of just, you know, play a different kind of shot to avoid it, if you like. Um, but, yeah, I know it can get on some people's nerves, you know, these kicks and that. But, uh, yeah, you, there's certain shots where you, you, you think they're more likely to happen. So you just have to adjust the type of shot you play, which kind of tends to take the element of a chance of a kick coming out. 
Yeah, I guess a player like Mark Williams, who of course is involved in our second semi this evening here on Eurosport against Judd Trump, he's a player who just likes to stroke the ball around. He's not a power player, is he? And I guess, arguably, you're more susceptible to a kick if you play that way. Yeah, he likes to roll a few balls in and stuff like that. And the more the more you roll the ball, the more chance there is of a kick, you know. Um, but there you go. I've said, look, there's a frame-winning visit, and he's managed to to not win it in that visit. So, Sean Murphy, 52. He'll be very disappointed with that. Yeah, and of course he missed a simple red by his standards in the previous frame when he was 42 in front, and Dot produced that excellent response of 74 to level. And, it, and he's not even played a good safety shot. You know, he's put the black over the middle, he's kissed the green. I mean, if he loses his frame, he's really going to be um, feeling bad about it all, you know? This is a big shot coming up here. Dot's been very good from long range. One. Right in the heart of the pocket. 73% is very good. Eight out of 11, if you prefer. That's impressive over a long distance. I suppose it's not so much how many you get, it's when you get them, Ronnie. Yeah, obviously some are obviously more important than others, but you're right, you know, if you're... Um, it's a good indicator if you're queuing well when you get a higher pot, uh, long pot success rate. Um, you know, and you see that black he's played there, you know, when you're queuing well, you you kind of get a nice little kiss like that, where if you're not playing so well, you can overrun it or get a bad kiss. So, you know, you can tell when someone's playing well, little things like that go for him, you know. So, um, huge frame here, though. Huge. 16. It would certainly hurt Murphy, wouldn't it, to lose a second frame he looked in control of in a row. Seven. I'd have been thinking about talking to Colin, Ronnie and the guys, having won 6-3. Had he not missed that red and the opportunity here as well. As it is, he could be one down with two left. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Such an underrated player, Dot, you know. Um, when he when he plays well, you know, he's got the all-round game, you know, very competitive, score well, great tactician. I think he played a match this year against Judd Trump in the UK Championships and, you know, he was flawless, you know, so... Thirty-two. It's good to see him playing well again, you know. Yes, I reckon his coach, Chris Henry, could be in line for a bonus because, as he told us at the start of this match, he was pretty fed up with the game at the end of last season. He'd had nothing to write home about at all. He wasn't enjoying practising. He wasn't practising particularly hard. And Henry's just uh, tweaked a few aspects to his game. He's got his hunger back, and these are the results. Another big shot here, though, with the colours at his mercy. Like you say, you know, it's all right getting lots of long balls, but here's one he would probably swap eight of his last long balls for, you know, this is a, a big shot. 39. Nice. Beautifully struck. He's never lacked for bottle, Dot. As Ronnie said, he's a tough, tough competitor. I think he's got a slight angle where he can just get up near the yellow. Yeah, look at that. Look, just lovely. Little bit of, little bit of side. Flick it off the cushion. Here we go. Zip. Lovely. Well, this is a test of nerve now, isn't it? As much as skill, this will be a piece of cake on the practice table. But there's a lot at stake. Well, I mean, he, he has to be. He has to hit this yellow well. You know, he, he can't afford to under hit this because he could cover himself on a brand. So. Just needs to pinch this a bit, you know. Played that good. 48. And these will be uncomfortable moments for that man. So he lost position, having missed the red in the previous frame 51. to right centre when he was looking good for 5 3. How quickly things can change around.
Everything's in the middle of the hole as well. Sixty. That's world-class snooker from Graham Dot under pressure. He's conjured two frame-winning breaks from a long way behind when it really matters. 74 and 66. And he's now within one of victory at five frames to four. What a semi-final we have on our hands. Yeah, at the Temple Drome. Semi-finals day, always special here at this great venue because, of course, we go from five tables down to just one. So all two and a half thousand spectators are watching the two protagonists and they've served up a feast of snooker and hats off to Graham Dot for the way he's won the last two frames. Murphy has made two mistakes. A simple pot miss to right centre when he was poised to take a two-frame lead at 5-3 and then losing position when well in front again in the ninth. And Graham Dock coming up with two big breaks, 74 and 66. And now it's Murphy, Joe. Welcome back to you, who is really under it. Yes, he is, but full credit to Graham Dock for taking hold of the chances that he was offered. I mean, he, he's really surprised everybody. Um, not only that, look at what Thank we've got to come friends, tonight. Yeah, Mark, Williams. Mark Williams against Judd Trump. Our coverage starts 6.45. UK time and they've got something to live up to haven't they yeah you're not kidding average frame time just 12 minutes it's been super snooker chance for Murphy Caught it much too thick. And Graham Dot is going to get a chance. And that's what he's been looking for. A chance to seal this frame and match. Not straightforward. Would have liked to have been straighter on this red, which would have been easy to play for the black. So work to do here. Had to play off the pack of reds, but that is a very nice shot. One. All he needs to do is pot the black. And that's not a certainty, is it? Well, not easy at this stage of the match, that's for sure. Horrible little cutback, but got to go for it. The red doesn't pass the yellow into the yellow pocket. So he may have to play a little cannon here, which adds to the difficulty of the shot. Got the pot, got the cannon. And he's on a red. Not an easy one. Eight. Sean Murphy just trying to prepare himself in case he gets a chance. Which is down to Graham Dot now. He's on the stretch here. Well, that Nine. could have been worse. Straight on the pink to the bark corner with reds to follow. <laughs> Nicely played. And now the heart starts pumping because he, he's in amongst them. Had a chance at the beginning of this frame, 
missed the pot by a long way for Sean. I think Murphy must be a little bit shell-shocked because it only seems like 20 minutes ago that he was bearing down on a 5-3 advantage. He's 15. made two mistakes and now he's staring down the barrel. Yeah, that's simple red to the right middle. 16. I certainly changed things. Now he's got choices here. He could go into them. He could play for that red to the right of the black. Leave himself with an angle to stun in behind the black. Chose to go into them. And that's worked out nicely as well. May have to play back up for the blue, but that shouldn't be a problem. As long as he doesn't get straight. Either side of the blue is OK. Twenty-two. Would have liked to have been top side of the blue. Nothing Sean can do. This is the red that he missed. And what an important red it, it's been that. It's turned the whole match around. And then in the next frame, when he was looking good to level again, he lost position, Dot got in. 27. Yeah, could have done with just running a little further, being straighter on this red. But he's got the bit between his teeth now, Graham Dot. Played this well. Sorry, Philip. No, I was just going to say, Joe, he hasn't 31. tasted ranking success for 11 years. China Open. 2007 was the last time he lifted a ranking title. I can't recall seeing him play better than he has today in that intervening period. He's had his moments, of course, most notably at the Crucible, a total of three finals. But the way in which he's attacked the balls, his long potting and his rock-solid temperament, well, it's the very best of Graham Dot. No, he didn't play that one well. There's pressure on this pink. The cue ball's going Ready into the reds. Yeah. He's going to be opening them up. This is probably the biggest shot of this semi-final. And he's got it. Now, what kind of an angle does he have on this red? Because the black's not available. Not to the left corner. Does he have any kind of an angle to get to a colour? If he's straight, there's nothing he can do. He's got a slight angle. He's also hampered, though, isn't he? Just wonder if he can get to it with left-hand side on the cue ball. Play for the pink into the middle. Murphy's open. he hasn't. <laughs> Taking the more difficult red, which is a bonus that it goes. Yeah, well played. Played up for one of the ball colours to be sure of being on a colour. Another good shot from Graham Dot. 42.
43. Nothing you can do from that leather chair, whoever you are. And what a three frames Graham Dodd has put together here when it really matters. He's not over the winning line yet, but goodness me. 50. He has really turned it on at the business end of this match so far. Yes, and he knows he's approaching that winning line. Yeah, sure. Having to take the spinder again. I don't like this instrument. It's just a little bit too high, but all he has to do is drop it in. Fifty-one. to leave himself hampered. Can he get to the cue ball? 58. I have it. Every single frame of this match has contained at least a 50 break. Quite a few much higher than that. I think at the outset, the feeling was that if it became a scoring match, it would be Sean Murphy who'd prevail. But Graham Dodd is more than match the magician in the scoring stakes today. Fifty-nine. Yeah, another good shot there from Graham Dodd. It was a little awkward. So this red will see him into the final. 66. A much deserved final. 67. Super stuff from Graham Dot. He's taken this semi final by the scruff of the neck, Graham Dot. He was close to falling 5 3 behind. 74. He was given a lifeline by Murphy's surprise miss on that red 75. to the right hand pocket. And my goodness, has he taken advantage. Three perfect frames from the 2006 world champion. And Murphy will be bitterly disappointed, but I'm sure he'll 81. be the first to congratulate Graham Dot on an outstanding performance. One of the best he's produced 82. since he last won big way back in 2007. 88. Yes, he's really shown his class, hasn't he? 89. And don't forget, he was 4 0 down to Zhao Gadon. He was 3 0 down to Barry Hawkins <laughs> and showed his fighting qualities. And now his natural 95. game has come to the fore. Scoring heavy. 96. Good safety. Got it all. Just six centuries in the whole of last season. And that's the fifth of this campaign. And what a way, what a moment to produce it. The crowd have been royally entertained. 103. Sean Murphy has played his part. He'll be very upset not to have got back to a second Temple Drome final. But truth be told, Graham Dot has just outplayed him in what has been a match of the very highest class. 110. Twenty-one. 
Chad Trump's 140 remains the highest break of the tournament so far. But that break of 121 takes Graham Dot to his first ever German Masters final. The pocket dynamo downs the magician here in Berlin. What a performance. Murphy salutes the crowd. They return the compliment. They're on their feet, all two and a half thousand of them. And mainly for that man, Graham Dot, the former world champion, has produced one of the best performances of the last decade and thoroughly merits his place in the final. And a meeting with Trump or Williams who do battle tonight. It's Graham Dot who has won through here at the Temple Drome to tomorrow's title match by six frames to four.